What do you consider your best ass as? It's a toss up between my Disney princess eyes and my uh, fat ass. Great features. Hello. Hi. Hi. You two ready to see what we've gotten you into? So ready. Sure. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? I like that we both did green on bottom, blue on Hello. top. Twinsies. What are you two doing here today? We are going to paint naked portraits of each other. Expectations are high. They should be. Some excellent skill work that you'll see. That confidence just hit as soon as the road I came I am off. comfortable being naked. Way to know you're good looking. That's important. Thank you. You're quite beautiful as well. Oh my god, thank you. What do you notice or stands out about my body? You like Batman. This is true. You haven't even seen my back yet. Oh snap. There's more Batmans? Oh, it's like a comic book scene. I appreciate the dedication. I did not expect all the arms of tattoos under the bright blue jacket. What are you looking for in a relationship these days? Sugar daddies. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> someone who can keep up with my wit and sarcasm. I will make a lot of jokes. I'm very high energy. I like somebody who can not take life so seriously. Anton, have you ever been in love? Uh, yeah, like twice. What happened? <laughs> when I was 22, I was in love with this girl, but she had a heroin addiction. Okay, that was the first one. What about the second one? We had met like a year before and she was dating one of my friends. And then we did long distance for two and a half, three years. And then she moved with me and then we got married. And now we're not married. How many years ago was that? Coming up on a year right now. I'm still getting over a breakup from like 1997, but yeah, no, totally. Everybody sense. goes their own pace. It's okay, no judgment. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. <gasps> How many children? I only have one daughter. So you've been in love three times? Uh, it's a different kind of love. Well, yeah, have... she will forever be the most important woman in your life. And if you say she's not, then this is over right now. Oh no, she will be. Just she's checking. She's amazing. I lost my father when I was in my early 20s and I had a very good relationship with him and so it's something that I definitely rank um, relationships with men on if they do have children is how they are with their daughter. Have you ever dated anybody with children? More times than I can remember. Wow. I love kids. The biggest issue is always like time constraints because obviously I, I don't want to interfere with the time that they spend with their child. What are you looking for in a relationship? Someone who will make me laugh, someone who has their shit together. That seems to be a rarity. Is that really? Like, everybody has emotional baggage. The trick is knowing how to carry your own emotional baggage. Therapy is foreign books. Yes, you try getting a grown man to go to therapy on his own. What are you looking for in a relationship? Somebody who loves food, somebody who likes to Enjoy the simple things in life, like going out on a walk on a nice day. How am I coming across with that listing so far? You're leaning towards that way with how you've described yourself, but I wouldn't have to get to know you more. You can't trust how people describe themselves. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. How's your painting coming along? I think I'm done. Wow. You can, you can put your arms down now. Um, thank you for holding them like that. It really helped me capture the pose. See like this arm right here? I couldn't have done that without you holding that pose. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I really love the bat symbol, of course. Are you gonna feature it prominently in your house? Hell yeah. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna switch it up now. Do you think of your pose? I did think of a pose. I mean, it highlights my best asset. What do you consider your best asset? Uh, it's, it's a toss up between my Disney princess eyes and my uh, fat ass. Okay, two uh, great features. What did you notice about my body first? Your tattoos. My skank flank? Skank flank? Yeah, it's like a tramp stamp on your side. I've never heard that in my life, okay. Those are difficult spots to get tattoos. 
Apparently the ribs are painful. Yeah, that was like my second tattoo and people were like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what's worse than your ribs? Your finger. Don't ever do it. I try to go every couple of weeks to get a tattoo. That's an expensive uh, habit. In the last year, I have been going every week because I have income that only me and my daughter get to choose what happens with that, so. Cool, so I was looking for sugar daddies working on it. Fitting the bill. <laughs> When's the last time you cried? Saturday. What happened on Saturday? My dad, he had a heart transplant. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. I had to have heart surgery. Really? There was just like a little hole. So now we've, we've fixed the physical hole in my heart, but the emotional one remains. You just need to find the right person. Who said people are gonna fix it? That's a self-filling hole. It can be filled both ways. That sounded dirty. It was meant to be. Anton, what would you describe your type as? A individual who is bright with spirit. I do enjoy someone who's loud and fun and not so like uptight about life. Also, if we were gonna talk about looks, I like brunettes. I mean, obviously you were just describing <laughs> characteristics about me anyway, so. <laughs> but I, I also it. like, just think everybody is beautiful in their own way. And That's very politically correct of you. Like all, all babies are beautiful. Not everybody is beautiful, but everybody has something beautiful about them. Except for the really shitty people. Yes. Okay, cool. So you're good with Kraft mac and cheese and chicken nuggies? If they're vegan chicken nuggets. Do you not eat meat? Uh, I used to be vegan and uh, vegetarian for like 10 years, but now I eat meat. It's been like two years. You do? But yeah. you just said vegan chicken I nuggets. used to be, I know, but, but I do to... favor. Did you eat honey when you were a vegan? Uh, no. Some people who are vegan eat honey and then I like to burst their bubble and tell them that honey is not vegan, even though taking honey from bees helps bees live. So you're a ball crusher, gotcha. I prefer buster than crusher, but I think that's because I like the alliteration. <laughs> How's the painting coming along? I would say I'm done. You ready to show it? Uh, sure. So beautiful. I don't know why your face got discolored, but you know, I'm not very great at blending. And you know, this heart is for your energy. You seem very heartfelt and you have emotional intelligence and maturity and you seem like a great person, to be honest. Glad you got that. Not as judging as most people would be nowadays. Oh, I keep that internal. <laughs> well, we can, we can do like some black around here. There's some black. Definitely an interesting experience. Great way to just like get to know somebody because they're in a vulnerable state. Would you, uh, would you go on another date together? That's TBD, really. I feel like we'd need to, we'd need to have some chats and get to know each other without uh, other people staring at us naked. I like that answer and would agree. I do like her personality though, so. That's good, there's a lot of it. She's funny. 